It's the only hole that is a gift on this golf course. 503 yards, par five. Tee shot sits well above the fairway, and once you find the fairway or any of the surrounding areas, the only real danger is that gaping bunker in front of the green. You want no part of that for any of the pins. I have to say, Luke, this is the ultimate easy hole, starting hole on the PGA Tour, because after it, the other 17 aren't easy whatsoever. You need to make four here or less to get yourself in a good mood. If you make five, you're going to be a little cranky. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. From around 220 yards. Opting for the three wood. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Putting for Eagle here. Made it off to a great start today. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good. Opening the first with an underpass score. Well, there's some real momentum with this player coming off an eagle at the last. That is right down the sprinkler line. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Well, I am on the third hole, and Justin Thomas is just getting ready to hit. Setting up here with a very long putt. the hole and down she goes the long range bomb rich there's a lot to like about justin thomas isn't there he's uh, short in stature and not a big bill but a really pound for pound great player he's learned a lot on how to play the game over the first few years on tour he always tried to hit it as hard as he could. Now he's developed a, another game within a game. He's starting to hit these shorter shots with lots of feel, lots of touch. Right now, Justin Thomas is one of the most complete players in the game. He's also got a wonderful attitude out there. He takes the good with the bad. But when he's in contention, it just seems to bring out the best in him, doesn't it? He's got a killer instinct about him. And when he gets around the lead, he doesn't let it go easily. He, he sticks around. He may not win all the time, but I tell you, he's going to make you earn that victory if he doesn't get there first. Butting for birdie. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Currently at minus three for the event. 
And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. We've arrived at a par four hole. Thing of beauty. Second shot here on the third. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. Oh, terrific approach and a chance for birdie here at the third. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Looking good. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Got to like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. He's currently tied for first. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Uh-oh, we're starting to hear roars from another part of the course. Looks like they've got the five wood. That's a little wayward. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. Let's recap Ian Poulter's effort from just a short time ago. He's a long way away, but he's feeling it today. Well, that'll take a little anxiety out of the next one. Beautifully judged. This would be a great up and down from this spot. was going in and this putt coming up for his par that was a gallant attempt and this one is for bogey in she goes. Let's head to the next. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole.
can hear the excitement in the air. It's starting to build. And let's catch this action from just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with a great shot here. Lining up for his second. Pretty straightforward shot, about what you'd expect to see from this player. And back to the course with the live action. Over the last handful of years, Rich, we've had a bunch of players come out on tour, but few have impressed more than Justin Thomas. Justin Thomas is this younger generation of player who's absolutely fearless. He knows that he belongs on the PGA Tour, and it shows week in and week out with his style of play. Just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. Well, what a way to bounce back. Nice putt to hold. And that will take him to four under. And that makes him tied for first. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. The sixth hole at Riviera is one of the most famous par threes on the West Coast, Rich. An absolute beauty. It looks like a giant green donut with the bunker right in the center of the green, doesn't it? I love this hole. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Ouch, that hurts. There's part of about six feet coming up. Ooh, nice line. Nicely hold, and for par. Currently four under for the event. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Pro tip, when it's breezy, swing easy. You're welcome. Choosing the 9 iron here. The excitement. It's starting. You can hear it. This took place just a short time ago. Always enjoy watching Ian Poulter to play well. Here's a great shot. Third shot now. Don't know about you, Beamer, but I would have loved to have hit a shot of that caliber. Getting ready to play their third.
He has this putt to save his par. like a pure stroke just two shots back after that hole we've reached the eighth hole the tee is yours and after that part we're looking for something good here That one's heading down Broadway. From around 140 yards here. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. And this putt will take them to five under par. should limit the damage nicely done and with that he'll move to five under par and now we go to the ninth and this happened a moment ago Justin Thomas with an amazing shot lining up for his third now good stuff let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands Matt Kucha currently leading the field. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Second shot here on the ninth hole. to have chosen the seven iron that's tidy and this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard Looking really good, this one. Well, that'll help you move up the leaderboard. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. 
Tied at the top, Rich, with the back nine here left today. Yeah, I like it. Sneaky good. There's no doubt about it. Let's see if they can keep the momentum up on the final nine. One of the most often discussed holes in all of golf is the par 4 10th here at Riviera Ridge. There's so much strategy. It's either driver or three wood for every player in this field, but you better be good with distance because this green is very narrow. Ah, yes, the gentle fade, the butter cut, if you will. Let's head over to the 11th. Time for the fifth shot. Ooh, that goes down for an eagle. Check out this little beauty. Nice touch. Yes, sir. Gets it to go. Thank you. Let's return to live play now. From the sand, looking to get up and down. Lovely shot into a few feet. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. And at the end of that hole, he's gone into clear outright leader. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Teeing off here at the 11th. Nice birdie back there. On to the next. Wow, that was just striped. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. And here we are with the third shot. Not bad. Six feet remaining to the cup. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. This hole's a tough two-shotter, a long par four.
It looked like it came out of a cannon. Four in a row. You're on some sort of a roll. And choosing the eight iron here. And this one might need to get down a little. Well, a little off the target with that one. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. Eight under for the day. Currently in the lead. Well, we're hearing some excitement elsewhere on the course. Five feet coming up to the cup. Well hold. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. I'm looking at Ian Poulter on the 13th, lining up his next shot. Setting up to play the shot here from the greenside rough. Whew. Oh, what a shot. Wow, from a dodgy lie ridge. How special was that? That was spectacular, Luke. Great work. Great shot. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. And after that hole, leading Matt Kuchar by a shot. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. What a gargantuan tee shot. Let's take a look at Justin Thomas from earlier. I gotta say, his short game is one of the best in the game. And in she goes. Sitting at my currently leading. in the pitching wedge here. This one is chewing fiber. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Oh, good look at birdie here. Oh, so close. And that should secure the par. Well done. <laughs> Leading by a shot after that hole. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th.
Looks to be going with the five iron. Woo, back there, Horsey. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Lovely touch. Well played. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. Well, this would be a great power putt if you can make this. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Yeah, that one will play. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Opting for the 9 iron. Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. And down it goes. And now an impressive nine under par as we head to the stretch. Just a small sliver of a lead. This could go any different direction down the stretch. And now that finds him in first place. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Going with the seven. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Oh, what a shot by our leader. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Just didn't drop. An opportunity to make their par. That's well hold. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, we're on the 17th, guys. This is Ian Poulter's next shot. Oh, what a shot! And mark him down for a birdie. Tough bunker shot, no bother whatsoever for this player. They find the bottom of the cup. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? The last genuine scoring hole at Riviera is certainly this par 5 17th. 
any hopes of getting it home in two, you better come up with something special off the tee and make sure to avoid the bunker on the right-hand side. Oh, this one looks to be hitting down the runway. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. That was a thing of beauty. You got all of that one. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. Getting ready to play their third. They need to flight this one down into the wind. Going with the pitching wedge here. <laughs> Setting up miles from the hole. Steady on. Just a four footer remaining. This one started out on a good line. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Our current leader is enjoying a two stroke lead. One of the most famous finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich. This 18th at Riviera is a classic. Aim for the palm trees in the distance, which are located just on the left hand side of the green. A good tee shot there will set up an awesome looking second. That should find the cut stuff. Time for the second shot on the 18th. Going with the five wood. A yeah, quality shot that. This is always a good moment. A putt to win the tournament. Oh, I like the look of this. Well, you've got to take your hat off to them. That's an outstanding performance. And to win around a golf course that was known as Ben Hogan's Alley. Well, this is going to go down as an iconic win at an iconic venue. i got to say, to win at Riviera, I believe, places you among the tournament's elite throughout the years. This is a storied venue, and this was a storied win. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich Beam, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.